Welcome to another episode of Metal Detecting with Lugnut. If you look behind you, you may recognize the house next door. Come back up here again. You know, two Indians in the past couple couple months, and uh, it's enough to keep you motivated to uh, for returning. So I'm up here to spend a few hours here this afternoon. I've got the small coil today. Let's see if it can help us find anything more from under the grass. See it the first good target. Has anybody ever seen a buckle like that? That was a 50 51 signal. And I managed to, it is very brittle. As you can see, I have damaged it. But I have never seen anything like that. So uh, if anybody ever has, please leave a note in the comments. Now here's something. It's funny, I found that shell key fob at the house across the street a couple weeks ago. Now look at this. This is the back part of an old style gasoline truck. You can see down here where the axle and the wheels would have been. Badly mangled. But that's a toy truck. That cover, and you see it even has the shell company yellow. I'll see if I can find a picture of one that's not crushed all the heck. It's a beautiful signal though. I was hoping for my seeded dime. It was 83, 84. Got a shell instead. Got a signal here. 6870. That's odd signal. Let's see. It looks roundish. Oh, it's a key. Fool me. Something Illinois. Let me clean this up, see what it says. Well, there it says Chicago, Illinois, 18X. I think there's some words on the other side here, but I can't make them out up there. All right, next target. Here's an item that was in the mid to upper 60s. I think uh, most of us know that that's a cover from a valve stem or for a valve stem I think there's some numbers at the bottom so there's been an old car parked here once upon a time I do believe that's the first one I've ever found not that it was particularly on my bucket list but um, I believe it is a first all right next target Here's the valve stem cover. It has up here the word Schrader, which is the style of the valve. It's even got the threads inside, see them? It's an actually amazing shape considering it's been in the ground for a hundred years. Cleaned up very nicely. Even has some chrome left on it. That's pretty cool. Just thought I'd show it to you. Well, there's a terrible signal. Some kind of a coin in a coin ball here. Looks penny-ish. I don't know what it is. 
Let's see. That's just a memorial. That's actually the second one I've found today. Oops, well, just a memorial. Nice imprint, though. All right, next target. Had a jumpy signal, 70, uh, mid 70s down into the lower 60s. And all the way at the bottom of the plug, I've got what I would uh, pretty much bet is the broken trigger guard to a gun. I don't think this is a play gun. That's old. I mean, this is this house is, again is 1861. That's not a play gun. That's an old trigger guard. That's super cool. Wow. This little coil sure does find things. Okay, next target. Right next to the base of this big old maple tree. We got a signal. And deep down in the ground here, it looks like. I didn't know any better. Those are a pair of scissors. Yeah, the tips are gone. Yep, pair of scissors. Those are probably old. Really old. Okay, next target. Well, I'm over here near the edge of the driveway, and I have popped out a penny made of wheat. One cent. It's way too dirty to get a date off of it, but I don't think you can see that. 19 something. Anyway, wheat penny. That's still promising. Next target. I'm now at the base of the tree with the wind chimes in it. And I had a terrible signal. And again, at this point, I'm, uh, I'm digging everything. Look at this. Got another wheat scent. One cent. I mean, an awful signal. It was low 70s, 60s, upper 60s. Just a terrible signal. Wheat scent. That's two. Next target. Well, I haven't found anything good in a while. And I just found the ultimate not good, which is one of these things. You know you're in an old farm when you find one of those. My arm's exhausted, so let's go do a wrap-up. Welcome to the round table wrap-up. Let's start with the huge pile of garbage. There's a lot of junk, rusty, worthless crap. Then we have the shell truck, which I actually did find the front of. Again, I'm gonna get on the internet, see if I can find a picture of that that's not squished beyond usefulness. Got a suspender clasp of some kind, lead on a piece of wire. Two rivets, the automobile tire valve cover stem, two copper memorials and a clad dime, the two last minute 
wheat. We got the key. This Lego block came out of the ground with a piece of junk. It's not really Lego, but it looks similar. Then the two interesting items from today. One that I managed to break. My wife says she thinks that this could very possibly be for clasping of a woman's garter. And then the really awesome old trigger guard. That's, uh, that's old. So, still things under the grass here. The small coil was a, was a big success. I want to thank you for coming along and watching. And we'll try again next week to see once again what's under the grass. Bye for now.